Welcome to Space News from the Electric Universe, brought to you by the Thunderbolts Project at thunderbolts.info. A new scientific report provides stunning confirmation of a foundational prediction of the Electric Universe hypothesis. For many years, one of the great mysteries in planetary science has been the heating in the upper atmospheres of gas giant planets. The apparent anomaly cannot be explained due to simple solar heating, given the planet's tremendous distance from the Sun. Today, a team of scientists who have studied data from NASA's Cassini mission say they have an answer. The team composed the most comprehensive mapping to date of both temperature and density in the upper atmosphere of the gas giant Saturn. Based on their analysis, they've concluded that rather than solar heating, the telltale clue to the anomalous temperatures is Saturn's aurorae, which are induced by electric currents. A Phys.org report summarizes the findings as follows. The upper layers in the atmospheres of gas giants, Saturn, Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune are hot just like Earth's. But unlike Earth, the Sun is too far from these outer planets to account for the high temperatures. Their heat source has been one of the great mysteries of planetary science. The report then explains the scientists' explanation. Electric currents, triggered by interactions between solar winds and charged particles from Saturn's moons, spark the auroras and heat the upper atmosphere. While this analysis may be a step in the right direction for planetary scientists, it is also another instance when the theoretical predictions of the electric universe have been far ahead of the curve over institutionalized science. On the question of atmospheric and temperature anomalies at Saturn, in 2005, Thunderbolt's chief science advisor, physicist Wal Thornhill, offered a prediction that could only seem preposterous from conventional reasoning. On his website, Thornhill analyzed the mysterious hotspot in the vortex at Saturn's south pole. The hotspot puzzled planetary scientists because, as described by the Keck Observatory, both the distinct boundary of a warm polar vortex some 30 degrees latitude from the southern pole and a very hot tip right at the pole were completely unexpected. Thornhill wrote of this feature, its compactness is due to the electromagnetic pinch effect where it enters Saturn's atmosphere. He then stated, The electric universe also predicts, experimentum crucis, that both poles should be hot, not one hot and the other cold. In 2008, the Cassini spacecraft confirmed the astonishing prediction. Astonishing because the freezing cold North Pole had been deprived of sunlight for more than 12 years. Thornhill explained, the polar hotspot and long-lived hexagonal feature result from a continuous electric current flowing from the Sun into the pole of Saturn. In stark contrast to the conventional view of the Sun as an isolated body powered by internal thermonuclear reactions, the Electric Universe proposes that the Sun is primarily an electrical phenomenon at the focus of a galactic, quote, glow discharge. In this view, Electric currents flowing from the Sun to planets has implications for many atmospheric phenomena, including the tremendous winds, as well as X-ray and temperature anomalies of gas giant planets, and also jet streams and weather patterns on Earth. While scientists today increasingly recognize the role of electric currents in planetary science, they still view the electric currents as byproducts of localized phenomena in closed systems. And yet one of the clearest evidences of external electric currents driving extreme atmospheric phenomena can be found with the aforementioned hexagon, which was discovered at Saturn's North Pole in the 1980s. For a number of years, planetary scientists have favored the explanation that fluid experiments resolve the hexagonal feature. However, as we reported in 2018, recent observations have pointed definitively away from the fluid dynamics explanation. Using images obtained by NASA's Cassini spacecraft, a team of scientists observed an unexpected, towering vortex far above the famous hexagon. A science alert report on the observation states, There is something strange over Saturn's North Pole. A tremendous structure towering high above the clouds indicates that the planet's peculiar hexagonal formation is much, much bigger than was initially apparent. One of the investigators said of the discovery, 
As the polar vortex became more and more visible, we noticed it had hexagonal edges and realized that we were seeing the pre-existing hexagon at much higher altitudes than previously thought. The problematic nature of this discovery is noted in the Science Alert article, which states, Since wind conditions change dramatically with altitude, the fact that the hexagon shape persists so much higher than the cloud tops is a baffling conundrum. In other words, the persistence of the hexagonal feature hundreds of kilometers above the clouds is the clearest possible indication it is being driven by energy from above and cannot be explained by simple fluid dynamics. The Electric Universe explanation, as noted earlier by Thornhill, points to decades of experimental research by plasma scientists, which reveals the importance of hexagons seen throughout nature. Consider the side-by-side -side images on your screen. On the left are vortices of an electron beam etched onto a carbon witness plate. On the right are vortices of an electron beam photographed on a fluorescent screen. The hexagonal form is a distinct feature of a well-documented plasma phenomenon called the diocatron instability, and the phenomenon observed in the laboratory is remarkably scalable, as explained by Dr. Anthony Peratt in Physics of the Plasma Universe. The vortices of the diocatron instability are found to occur over 12 orders of magnitude in beam current. This mechanism was first introduced to explain auroral curtains by Hannes Alfvéd. As we've also discussed ad nauseum on this series, another signature of the external Birkeland currents that drive atmospheric phenomena is the counter-rotation seen at the poles of Saturn, Jupiter, Neptune, and in the auroral displays on our own planet. It was in 2015 that Dr. Donald Scott published his mathematical modeling of the structure of a Birkeland current, which is identified visually as counter-rotating cylindrical shells. Again, today more than ever, mainstream science is exploring the critical role of electric currents in atmospheric science. Consider the recent article published by the American Geophysical Union's Earth and Space Science News, entitled Electric Currents in Outer Space Run the Show which is a summary of the 2018 book, Electric Currents in Geospace and Beyond. The article bluntly states, It is now understood that outer space is fundamentally electrical in nature. However, while the aforementioned book does explore in detail the role of electric currents on and near the Earth, it does not take the theoretical leap proposed by the electric universe which is that the Sun is itself an electrical phenomenon with a direct electromagnetic connection to the Earth. And yet, with each passing year, new discoveries render smaller and smaller the theoretical leap required by mainstream science to reach this conclusion. Electric currents driving atmospheric phenomena is just one of countless telltale signs that we live in an electric universe.